Gary Harrell was back as Jackson State's interim head coach for the second week in a row, and back from injury was JSU offensive lineman Tony Gray. Although gray skies hovered over Rice Totten Stadium throughout the day, the blue and white has been the dominant color in the valley throughout the years. JSU has lost only once to Mississippi Valley and 29 trips to Itabina. But the Tigers would find themselves in a fight with the Devils for much of the day. JSU's defense held Valley to only four plays on its opening series as John Higgins gets the tackle for a two-yard loss. JSU's fortune turned into misfortune when Isaiah Bolden muffed the punt and Mississippi Valley recovers at the Tigers' 15-yard line. Jackson State's defense kept Valley out of the end zone and the Delta Devils settled on a 24-yard field goal by Orlando Fernandez, giving Mississippi Valley a 3-0 lead in the first quarter. JSU's defense caused more headaches for Valley's offense when defensive lineman James Houston sacked Delta Devils quarterback Jelani Eason in the end zone for the safety. However, officials ruled the sack occurred at the one-yard line despite video evidence to prove otherwise. Jackson State did get some sort of justice on the very next play as Eason goes deep from his own end zone and his pass is picked off by Randall Haney at the Delta Devils 41-yard line. It only took JSU four plays to capitalize on the turnover as Shadua Sanders found a wide open Josh Lanier in the end zone for the 21-yard touchdown pass, giving JSU its first lead at 7-3. JSU's defense closed out the first half in fine shape, limiting Valley to less than 100 total yards of offense and only six points at the break. Yes. Halftime score, mm -hmm. Tiger 7, yep. Valley 6. They've gotten two field goals. Yes. Otherwise, defense has been holding them. I mean, they held up, but we still got to do better. We still got to do better as far as our standard, our expectation. Pretty simple. Stop the run on defense. They still get giving up too much on the ground, and we got to run the football. We've missed a couple of plays inches away from really busting this game open. Uh, refs have been calling it tight too, seven points on offense. What are we saying at halftime to get the offense? We got to worry about us. You know, we got to start talking to the refs. And let, them, let them do their job, we do our jobs. Coaches coach their guys, play, players be football players and go play the game. We got to make sure we understand, like I said, the standard of what we do. We left a lot of plays on the field. Uh, we don't have the energy, the tempo we need to win this ball game. We talk about dominating, not competing. Right now we're competing, not dominating. In the third quarter, Jackson State's tune began to change. Shadour's pass to Keith Corbin is bobbled and intercepted by former JSU defensive back Mikhail Gladney at the Tigers' 42-yard line. The Delta Devils took advantage when Eason connected with Dontavious Porter and the big tight end took it in for the score, putting the Devils back in front at 12-7. With the Tigers trailing by five, Shiloh Sanders watched as his brother engineered a seven-play, 77-yard drive highlighted by this incredible 17-yard catch by Keith Corbin to midfield. Shadour capped off the drive with an amazing 41-yard touchdown pass to Malachi Whiteman, giving Jackson State a 14-12 lead. All signs then began to point towards a JSU victory. The Tigers' dark side defense kept Eason on his backside. JSU's pressure forced Easton into a bad throw. The loose ball is scooped up by Al Young, and he takes it 24 yards for the touchdown, extending JSU's lead to 21 to 12. Yeah! 
As the Tigers began to celebrate early in the fourth, Shadour continued to pile on the points. He connects with Trevante Rucker along the sidelines, and Rucker turns it into a 74-yard touchdown, making it 28-19 Jackson State, and that's how it ended as JSU improves to 7-1 overall and 5-0 and in the SWAC East, one win away from the division title. We found a way, you know, a win is a win, we'll take it, you know, it, it cures all, but, you know, you want to win pretty, but you want to see yourself and the team in a situation where we can do, go into a dog fight and pull things out. Uh, not the way we want to play, a lot of sloppy uh, play, got to get disciplined when it comes to the penalties. Uh, a lot of play was left on the field, defense played an outstanding game with the turnovers and gave us a chance to win. You know, we got into that, that late in the second half, got a couple of big runs to help us out. But overall, yeah. you know, we focus on winning all four quarters, didn't do that. Right. Left a lot of opportunity out there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, be smart, fast, tough, discipline. Uh, we weren't smart today. We showed some toughness as far as on defense. Then played very fast all the way through all three phases. So it's a lot of things. We, we, we like checking all four boxes. We might have checked one box when it comes to our core values. So we got to make sure we go look at the film and see where areas we got to get fixed. One thing about Coach Prime, you know, we, 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 we thrive on being situational masters. And uh, we work on these things in practice. And, uh, and we just didn't, you know, fulfill those obligations today. And we got to get better. If you want to be a championship team this part of the year, you got to play better. But hats off to uh, Coach Dancy and staff and the Delta Del Devils. They, they played an outstanding game. They was tough. They ran the ball effectively. They stopped the run on defense. They made a great game out of it. And uh, we got to go back and get better for our next week opponent. We were able to outscore them. We won the game. But like you said, some things to clean up. Yeah. So as we get ready to host Texas Southern home, what are some of the keys for preparation this week? You know, same thing. We got to get back to seeing what, 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 what we're missing. You know, we got to get some toughness up front. You know, we kind of found that toughness. Uh, Alabama A&M, Alabama State as far as the run game. And it opened everything up as far as the passing game. You know, we scored, we put up points. And when you're able to run the football and stop the run, you know, you got a, a standing uh, opportunity as far as winning ball games. So we got to go back and find out what we're doing. We got to find the right mix up front as far as being able to run the football. Uh, we got to get grown, be able to see the game in, in situations, make things happen as far as third down situations. I think some areas, you know, he has to improve. Uh, and, and defensively, I mean, we're solid. Good thing we're playing lights out on defense, but we still want to get better as far as run game. Today, I think we could have did better against the run. I think they showed a little bit a little bit more toughness as far as running the football as far as Dallas. In Itabina, Mississippi, I'm Rob J for JSU Athletics.